Come on in, welcome to my home. As of right now, our Thanksgiving is going to look very, very different this year. As of recording this video, uh, I do not believe that our family is going to get to be able to get together for Thanksgiving as we are spread out all over the place and various places are in various uh, lockdown conditions of this whole situation. That being said, Thanksgiving doesn't have to be a time of loneliness. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do a virtual Thanksgiving. Now I'm going to tell you my personal opinions, and these are my personal opinions on this. This is not an in-depth review or how-to tutorial of what you should do or what you shouldn't do, but these are what my personal opinions are to get this whole virtual Thanksgiving or family get-together to go. First thing you need to do is get a hold of your family and see if they want to do it. That's important because if you have family who don't want to be included or don't want to do this, don't force them to. It's okay if they don't. Some people do, some people don't. Some people do not have the ability to do that, which is the second part. Make sure that everybody has the ability to actually do this. I like to test this out with everybody to make sure that their setup will match my setup and I can send them all sorts of links and I will go why we went through this because uh, my cousin and I we've done this we've done duo calls those sort of things to make sure that our setups will match and that's important that's super important everybody can do that then the next part about this is once you get make sure that everybody can actually do this and don't think that just because a person is older they don't know how to do it or just because they're younger they know how to do it you might actually have to walk people through the setup step by step and so on that day on the, on the week before just like with every thanksgiving Always set up everything, test it out, make sure that it is running smoothly before that day. See if you have enough, enough bandwidth so that you can actually do this without dropping out or those sort of things. And it's pretty easy. Now one of the things which I have found is being a person who is going to be on a call like this, because every week we do a Skype call, and you can do this through whatever software. Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, whatever video conferencing software you want to do, that is completely up to you. Uh, but being one of these people, you have to think about what is best. I mean, I, you see these setups. I'm filming on a camera right now, or recording, depending on who you think, what you, how you think about this. I'm on a camera right now in this area with this backdrop. There will be some people who will do some crazy things, such as decide to film with their back to the window. This is not a good shot. This is a horrible shot. I'm in my robe. The sun is coming through the window behind me. You can't see me at all. This is a horrible shot. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Nobody can see you whatsoever. Then the other people are the ones who film in areas which are distracting with like lots of clutter. This is another situation to be mindful of. I am right under a fan. I bet you can hear that too. So if you're on a call, you want to think about what's going to be hitting the microphone and if you're going to be too far away from the microphone. That could be a problem. Or areas that are super gloomy. Okay, well this is not the world's greatest angle I'm going to be moving in a second. But you notice my background is super dark and not very attractive right now. Because it's super dark. So I can do a few things like turn on some lights. Yeah, I'm looking down at my phone to see what I can turn on to make the background a little bit better. Is that the right light? Yeah. Which makes the background a little bit vi more visually exciting instead of the horrific, um, you know, at any moment I'm going to be murdered kind of background. But that is something to also think about. You want to have whoever is behind you look at least mildly attractive and the other thing to think about is how close do you want the camera to be to you? Is that a little too close? But then again I can get all the way back here 
than the camera, and I'm far enough away from the camera, but you notice how the sound changes? So yeah, think about what is going to be behind you once you've decided to do this, and also make sure that all those things that you don't want people to see are out of the way so that people don't see them. So you've got your establishment. Now the other thing about this is, I'm very, very, very much against doing the whole let's eat together. Let's give these a taste. As a person who actually has to taste my food that I fix on camera, those are really good. I usually cut to something else while I am chewing so that you don't have a lot of. Yeah, I know some of you just cringed and about died on that one. So yeah, eating together, not the best idea. Not the best idea at all. Simply because you don't want to have that. Now you might want to run over some various ideas for people to remember. One is, you are not having an individual conversation with somebody. Just because you can see them on their little corner of the screen, everybody can hear you. So when you want to talk about so-and-so who did such and such in some place and nobody else knows it, no, you are literally broadcasting that to everyone. And the other thing is, also remember that you, whatever you do, if you walk away from the mic, Mute it! If you walk away from your camera, mute it. Simply because if there are things which you are saying and you don't want people to hear, you don't want people to hear them. Even if you're just going to go to the door or that sort of thing or, uh, does everybody need to hear you going to the bathroom? Does everybody need to hear you muttering about things that are being said while you're off camera? No, no they don't. The other one which is really, really distracting are the people who like to play music while they're at home. Well, that's really good for you, but then a lot of people can't hear what's going on through your music. Don't, don't do that. And it can mess up the audio, like, almost totally and completely. So that is not such a great idea. Uh, some, uh, some things to think about is the fact that, you know, it is a family get-together. You need to give everybody a chance to talk. Don't everybody talk at once, because this, this is another, another situation to be this mindful is a horrible of. Shot. I am right gross. under a fan. The sun is going but through the window. I bet you can hear that. that can be a nightmare. I've read articles that say they like to stagger how people come in. So they'll have, you know, a few people, they'll invite a few people to the meeting at, like, 12 o'clock, then at 12.02 they'll invite some more, then at 12.04 they'll invite some more. Me, I'm like, meh, whatever, meh, that's up to you. Uh, the thing about this is, if you are doing this with some new people or people who do not know each other, introduce them. Even if their name shows down up at the, so shows up down at the bottom of the screen in a little tiny thing, Make sure that everybody knows this. Make sure that everybody knows how, when I, I talked about muting, make sure everybody really does know how to mute it be, so that they're not like, not mute it and everybody can hear. Remember that everything, and I like to film up against a wall so that I'm not doing anything behind me, so there is not any chance of anything odd happening behind me. Now there are those programs that have the ability to put in backdrops or something behind you. That's really great. I don't want to use the technology, so I will just film in this sort of situation. Now, a lot of people don't have what I have. I have a a uh, light, which is over here, and then my window is over here. This light is pretty bright. You don't need that. You can just film in front of a window. That's absolutely fine. And when I use the word film, I'm not using a film camera. Well, I'm just using a digital camera. You can use your computer, just remember what's behind you. Remember when you are in frame, and when you're not in frame. I stayed in frame because I don't want to have to re-autofocus this whole thing. It is something to think about. I mean, the world is slightly different now, and it's going to be slightly strange. 
but we can make this somewhat normal. And like I said, I am so not a big fan of doing Thanksgiving dinner or like any meeting where everybody's eating together because it's just really weird. I'd rather spend that time actually talking to the people. Now, if you are in this financial situation where you can send like snacks and that sort of thing to all of your family members before it, cool, whatever. <laughs> Um, I have heard people talk about, well, we're all going to fix the same dish, so that way we can, oh, please, no. Um, I'm one of these people who is of the opinion that, you know, enjoy what you want to eat on that sort of day. You all don't have to have the same thing. The important part is that you're all together sharing as a family the way that you want to. And if you don't want to do this sort of thing, that's fine. Maybe some people just want to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call. Hey, Phone calls are still a thing. People do that. That's absolutely cool. Maybe you just want to do a phone call. I don't know, but you need to think about the big setup, the big picture. Can you actually do this without a whole lot of horrible things going on? Don't make it so stressful for everybody involved that nobody wants to do this. It, if it's a family get-together or family conference call, make it so that it's fun. That's why test everything out. Make sure that everybody knows what they're doing. If there are people who need to have those things, you know, just written down so they remember how to do that, go for it. Write everything down, email them, send it in a letter, whatever they need so that they can go through the steps with no problem. And then it's so much more relaxed. It's so much more calm and easy to deal with. Now, some of the things which are the advantage of this is you aren't cleaning up after 30 to 45 people who've invaded your house for the Thanksgiving holiday. That's going to be interesting to not have to do that. You can have whatever you want. Uh, one of the things which is always funny, because when mom comes over to my house, she's like, you're, you're, you know, from here up, I am wearing a shirt and a t-shirt. I'm wearing shorts because guess what? It's hot today. I know it's really weird, but yes, as of recording it, it's hot. I have my air conditioner going. And let's talk about your microphone. Can we do that for just a second? Make sure that people can hear you. Ah, uh, that is so annoying. So yeah, make sure that you have cool off your house before you go there. I mean, before you do your call. So that, that way, it's all nice and comfortable. You have your drinks, you have your snacks. If you're going to eat, like I said before, mute yourself while you're eating. There are people who just cringe and they're just having a horrible time with us. But make it so that it is relaxed, calm, very easy, practice it. And I've said this before in like just about every single one of my Thanksgiving videos. Run a practice test before you do the actual thing. So that that way on the day that you do it, it's nice, it's calm, it's relaxed. You don't have to worry about this. Uh, like I said, I like my background. This is really cool. When we do our actual family get together will probably be in the living room because as I've been testing out different ways of meeting I do have one which I can cast from my phone to my TV and set that up. Maybe you want everybody wants different kind of equipment. I do have a camera, a phone tripod, well it's a thing which will hold my phone as I use it on the tripod and it will then just hold it there and I can be very, very happy as we sit there looking at the TV, talking to all the family, and it's a relaxed holiday. Don't make your holidays so stressful. If this becomes a whole hideous thing, then just do individual calls to people and make it unstressful. Uh, the other thing is, if you are on the phone, if you are on a conference call, if you're going to talk to people on a conference call, I have been known to text people that I'm on a conference call with, but remember people can hear you, because if you remember the beginning of this, you probably heard me get a text. Also, think about where your camera is placed. In this setup, the camera is right in front of me. However, at my computer, the camera is in between, is underneath my main monitor. However, sometimes I've been known to put the actual, like, Skype. I'm looking at the screen here, but I should be looking at the screen of the camera there. 
this is a simple fix by just moving that over here and then I can see you which are right there and you guys are just above me that makes me happy you want full straight on looking into the camera and teach people about looking into the lens of the camera just like I am now it's like I'm looking at you even though that lens might not be where everybody is everybody could be up here whereas you can see that's where the that's where all the Skype stuff is or all the um, monitor stuff is but my lens is below that you can adjust your camera to your monitor to your situation so that you are getting more of a full face thing but that's up to you and also make sure that you are not getting feedback feedback is an issue uh, the feedback happens when your microphone is picking up the sound from the what's coming in it forms this loop which makes everybody which makes it squeal and I'm not going to subject you to that but these are things to really test out go through it a couple times make it so that everybody's happy and easy and hopefully you'll have a wonderful virtual holiday what about you are you going virtual this year or are you going to actually get to meet with each other or just going to skip it completely let me know down in the comments it'll be interesting this will be a really interesting thing and, and as things evolve almost daily in my life these as it seems uh this all might not even be happening by the time this video goes out so we'll never know well let me know down in the comments what you think and i hope i get to see you the next time you stop by